With a market capitalization of over 100 million Australian dollars, Actinogen Medical is an innovative clinical stage Australian biotech company pioneering the development of Xanamem, a novel therapeutic drug candidate targeting Alzheimer's disease and major depressive disorder. Xanamem, also known as Eme Stead Arstat, is a first-in-class brain-penetrant cortisol inhibitor and it's the only molecule of its kind in advanced stage clinical trials for Alzheimer's. There are five compelling reasons why Actinogen represents an attractive investment opportunity. Firstly, the company's Xanamem stands out in the complex and crowded Alzheimer's drug development landscape. Unlike other treatments that largely focus on amyloid plaques or tau protein, Xanamem targets excessive cortisol production in the brain, a mechanism strongly linked to cognitive decline and a unique approach among clinical stage Alzheimer's drug candidates. What's more, Xanamem is an oral medication conveniently dosed once daily and has already demonstrated a favorable safety profile in over 400 patients and volunteers. With Alzheimer's disease expected to affect nearly 14 million Americans by 2060 and current anti-amyloid treatments offering only limited efficacy, associated with potentially serious side effects and requiring invasive intravenous administration, Xanamem has the potential to alter the treatment paradigm. Secondly, Actinogen is currently running its Phase 2b-3 Xanamia trial in biomarker-confirmed Alzheimer's disease, specifically in patients with elevated PTL protein in the blood. This trial builds on the positive efficacy data from the earlier Xanadu trial, where Xanamem showed a clinically significant 0.6 mean difference on the CDR sum of boxes scale among Alzheimer's patients with elevated blood PTL. This represents a 60% relative reduction in disease progression. By enrolling over 220 patients from this well-defined and responsive population, the Zanamia trial is designed to replicate and extend the positive efficacy signal observed in Zanado. Interim results are expected in late 2025 with final results in the second half of 2026. These milestones are major catalysts that could drive a significant re-rating for the stock and potentially lead to value realization through licensing transactions. Thirdly, in addition to Alzheimer's, the company is also advancing Xanamem in major depressive disorder, with positive Phase 2a efficacy data already reported in 2024. Discussions with regulators for pivotal studies in depression are underway. Xanamem could also have utility in other neuropsychiatric conditions like Fragile X syndrome and bipolar disorder. Altogether, these neuropsychiatric indications all expand the drug's potential. Such arrangements would help somewhat de-risk future development costs while still allowing Actinogen to crystallize the full commercial potential of Xanamem. Fourthly, Actinogen benefits from Australian R&D tax credits, covering up to 48.5% of its eligible expenses. This significantly reduces its net development costs and enhances its competitive position for future clinical development. Further, the company has already finalized the tablet formulation of Xanamem and is scaling up to commercial-scale manufacturing through its contract manufacturing partner, ensuring its readiness for commercial-scale production and for potentially engaging in licensing transactions. Finally, Actinogen's multifunctional and experienced leadership team and board have successfully taken and advanced new products from early-stage development towards regulatory approval and market preparations, launch or company sale or exit. As a development stage company, Actinogen will likely need additional capital to fund Xanamem's future development, particularly for a second phase three study in Alzheimer's. The company has mitigated this risk somewhat as it expects its cash position to be sufficient to complete the Zanamia trial. Moreover, the company and its management team have consistently succeeded in seeking and completing capital raises while consistently maintaining a robust cash runway. Actinogen may also seek non-dilutive funding activities, including licensing, partnerships, and or additional funding from government agencies and patient advocacy groups. In conclusion, Actinogen has an accomplished management team and presents a high potential investment opportunity in the biotech space in diseases where there is significant unmet medical need. With its unique approach to Alzheimer's and depression, encouraging clinical progress to date, and a balance sheet to support it beyond substantive catalysts, Actinogen should be on your radar if you're looking for exposure to cutting-edge plays in neurology.